All right, so this is my uh, SKS modified with ATI collapsible and foldable stock, uh, 20 round Tapco magazine, uh, pinned to five rounds uh, due to laws in Canada. Got a four end grip on it and uh, laser and uh, muzzle brake. It's my first time out with the gun since I've done these modifications, so I'm gonna see if it uh, how it shoots and how it feels. I'm just gonna light up some of these uh, logs here, not going for accuracy, just seeing how it feels to shoot. All right, I got a second uh, magazine. I'm gonna put in with the stock folded. Got another mag, back pocket. Goes in nice and easy. Got five more rounds to shoot off here. See how it feels with just the four end grip and the pistol grip. All right, so after uh, going shooting the first time with my SKS after I've made the modifications, the ATI stock, Tapco magazines, uh, UTG 4N uh, grip, laser and muzzle brake. Uh, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed in, uh, in a couple things. Uh, the ATI stock, first of all. Um, noticed after shooting maybe 20 rounds uh, through the gun that uh, the pistol grip here became loose um, basically you take this bottom piece this rubber off it's kinda hard to see there you can see it right there there's only one single Phillips head screw holding this pistol grip on and I tried to tighten it but it seems that the threads are stripped so I'm gonna have to put um, a bigger bigger screw in there, like a wider screw, and hopefully it, it secures it down uh, a little better. Might have to rig something else up so that uh, it doesn't come loose again. So pretty disappointed in the ATI stock for, for that reason. Uh, the Tapco magazines fed, fed extremely well, perfectly. Um, so yeah, Tapco. Maybe I should have went with the Tapco stock instead. I don't know, too early to tell. Maybe... Um, it's just a flaw on, on mine. Uh, maybe it's not for all the ATI stocks. Uh, the UTG 4N grip, the one I got here, has uh, finger molds and it has, um, on either side, it has these slots here for, for pressure sensors for, say, your laser or whatever. Uh, I just chose to keep um, the pressure sensor off of my laser just because of the positioning of the 4N grip. It's easy to click on and off. Um, just with your thumb like that. Uh, the UTG grip that I got, <laughs> disappointed in this also. It's, um, doesn't, uh, doesn't hold on to the rail uh, um, properly. Like it, I probably started with it positioned back here and after shooting it kept sliding forward. It doesn't have a proper lock or doesn't come with a proper lock to uh, lie it onto your or uh, lock onto your rail. It's, um, yeah, it's like a basically a friction fit by turning this bottom knob and I tighten the piss out of it and it still slid forward. Uh, muzzle brake, whatever. I can't really uh, say anything on the performance of that. It's more just for looks. But uh, anyhow, yeah, that's uh, my experience with the ATI stock, the Tapco magazine, and the UTG 4 and Hopefully, uh, maybe, help, maybe helps you guys make a decision uh, when you're looking to buy some modifications for your SKS.